Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 338. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 338. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we have a data set and we have some email addresses, and we want to extract all the .com emails, all the addresses, all the .net email addresses, etc. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to add an extra column. And imagine this is a huge data set. I just made a real quick data set here. But what I'd like to do is have a column with some criteria on that we can use for extracting records. So I need the .com to be there, the .com to be there, uh, the .net to be there, etc. So we'll use the replace and find function to get our coms and nets, etc. Equals replace. And replace function, what we want to say is, hey, find, go from the first character all the way to the period and replace it with blank. And so then it will just leave the dot com. So the old text is going to be that. Comma, the starting position is going to be 1, because we're starting at the, f the very first character. Comma, and the number of characters to uh, replace, I'm going to use the find, because we need to find the position of that period. Find is case sensitive. Search is not. Uh, find text, I want to double quote, period, double quote, comma, within what text? That right there. Close parentheses. And our last argument, I'm going to type a comma. And then the new text I want to replace all that stuff is double quote, double quote. That means blank. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Now I can double click and send this down. And sure enough, I have some criteria now that I could use. Now, the easiest way to do this is perhaps just to do go to the data menu and apply your filter. And then filter and just ask for the com. And then I can simply copy, insert a new sheet, Shift F11 is the keyboard shortcut, and Control V. And so I could do that if I you know only had however many, 10, 20 extensions, uh, or whatever, .com, .net, etc. Now, if I want to do it slightly different way, I could come back over here. I'm going to go back up and turn off the filter. Uh, I want to extra I actually want to do it on a separate sheet and set up a little uh, data validation and then extract area to extract whatever I want. Now I'm going to come over here to the data area and I want to extract a unique list and put it right here, name it, and then uh, use data validation on the other sheet. I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then go to Data, Advanced Filter right there. Uh, it's not guessing right, so I'm going to click in the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow. Uh, copy to another range, criteria range we do not need because we're using unique records only. I'm going to click Copy to and click right there. And so there is our range. I'm going to name this UR for unique records. Highlight the whole range. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3 because I want to name this UR. So I'm going to say the top row, and now all of a sudden this is UR. If I click the drop down, I can say UR, and it shows me that. Now I can come over here, do data validation, data validation. Allow, what would I like to allow? A list. The source is, I can't remember my name I type, but F3 will allow me to paste a name and then double click UR, click OK. So now I have my uh, criteria. I'm going to do the dot com. Now, before I do this, I'm going to copy this over. Let's say I wanted to do this uh, a bunch of times. Whoops, I double click that too much there. Let's say I want to do this a bunch of times. So I could cut once I have this little sheet set up, I could then copy it over. Copy it over. Hey, how am I doing that? I'm holding control and I'm going to click right here. Except for when I click and drag, you see that little piece of paper? That's just moving, and then wherever that arrow goes is where it's going to move. But if you hold Control and click, you see that plus? That means I'm copying, and so wherever the black arrow goes. So I click on the, the Sheet tab, hold Control, I drag, and I let go of the mouse, not Control. And then I click. I let go of the mouse, not control. So I'm holding control the whole time. That's how that trick works. 
scroll over here so I have my uh, subset one. Now I want to do advanced filter from this sheet. Now I have to have my cursor. If I have my cursor somewhere where there's no information, this trick won't work. This is doing um, advanced filter from a different sheet because our data is over here, but this is where we want to dump it. So I'm going to go up to data, advanced filter. It guessed wrong, but we had to have our cursor there for it to know that we want to do advanced filter. The list range is totally wrong, so I just click. <coughs> and highlight this whole range right here. And the criteria range, when I click back here, extension with formula. Hey, guess what? That field name has to be the same as in that data. And then that's one of the elements, or criteria for this. I want to copy to another location. The copy to, this is called the extract area area, you want to make sure that you have your field names here, they're spelled exactly the same, and then click OK. And sure enough, it did it uh, .com. So now you could go and do this on each sheet. I probably <laughs> would never do it this way because it's a lot easier just to cut and paste it at this point, right? But uh, nevertheless, you could do it this way. Look, it got it wrong again. Oh, now I have to go all the way back over here, Control shift down arrow, uncollapse. Criteria range, I got my new criteria range with a net there. Copy to, highlight there, click OK, and I got the nets. Uh, I guess I like the uh, first method, just copy and paste. You could also uh, build a little macro, which I have uh, other videos here of exactly this situation where you have some criteria and you, you want to, uh, you build a macro to run it, and then it runs it and dumps it. All right, uh, extracting email addresses. We'll see you next video.